Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today I've got a new bike. This is my new Track Super Caliber 9.7. So we're going to do a bit, a little bit of an unboxing, kind of an unboxing, but show you what kind of comes in the box and how it turns up, and then go through the spec of the bike afterwards. So this is how the bike turned up in packing. There was a little bit of uh, sort of hole where the rear mech was, but it looks like no damage was, was uh, done there. So that's all good. Nicely packed though. So this is out on the stand. So nicely packed up. Um, Forks very well protected, handlebars protected, stem, everything that could like rub or scrape is is all put there. Um, some packing over there. Um, tires will be changed, so they comes with Bontrager XR2 teams, um, but that will be changed for some Pirellis, um, not Pirellis, some Vittorias. Sorry. So that's how it comes together. All the mech in the middle position, and the chain sort of strapped down. So you get reflectors in the box for wheel reflectors. They go in the bin. You get a saddle in the box. This is the Bontrager, um, sort of just basic Bontrager saddle. I won't be using that. So that can go to one side, but I will keep it for later on. You get a bell in the box that can go in the bin. Let's get rid of that one now. Um, you get some tuber sealant. So I will be using this sealant. I've never used it before, so I thought I might as well give it a go and see what it's like. I usually use muck off. So that's you get some volume spaces for the ISO strap which is cool, I might use these at some point, I'm going to use it without to start with and then you get some um, front and rear reflectors, they can also go in the bin So then, and then you get also a few little manuals and, and catalogues and stuff as well with the bike um, to, about your warranty and how to put it together and look after it basically so once you get the packing off you end up with this so this is the bike out of the box, tyres aren't seated obviously um, but this is kind of what, where you get to so I had to untwist some of the cables, I had to actually remove the front caliper itself to kind of route the cable a bit better. Knot blocks all working completely, um, so that's all cool as well. That's all sorted and working nicely, it's a very nice little feature to include with the bike. First look at the IC strut there as well. Um, take the chain off and then that's where the gears actually sit, because they put um, a massive amount of tension on the cable for some reason. But here we are, this is the complete bike, so it's this sort of change of tyres to Pirelli, not Pirelli Vittoria, um, nice tan wall tyres to kind of, something I've used anyway. So the bike itself, Montrega grips, Shimano non-series brakes, I will be changing them for XTR at some point very soon. Um, you get SRAM NX Eagle throughout the bike, so that's 12 speed, and that will be changing as well to some point to XTR Di2. You got the nut block in there, that's nicely set up in the centre so you get protection from the bar swinging in a crash. You get a rock shop reba, 100mm travel. Um, you obviously pressure set that to whatever you need, but some nice, reliable, um, good quality fork. You have get the Bontrager Covey Elite 23s, the carbon wheel set, the basic carbon wheel set, and then I say I've put the Victoria POTs on as well. Moving down, you've got three bottle case positions for the front, so in case you're using one or two bottles on the frame, it does tell you what bottle case you should be using if you're using the higher position. You've got an NX chain set. Um, I've got Speedplay frog pedals on there. Comes with a 32 tooth round ring on there. I will change that to a 34 at some point. And an 1150 rear cassette on the back on the NX rear mech. So this is the IC strut. It's the first time I've actually seen one in person. I've never seen this system face to face before. Nice and neat. Um, you've got a manual lock off on this bike, it's the cheapest one in the range, three and a half thousand. The every other model has a remote lockout, which is what I'll be upgrading this to at some point. Very heavy seat post and then a physique saddle, test saddle that I'd like to use um, on top to finish the build. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, comment and like, sort of a quick look of what I just bought and how it is. So if you want to see more content, subscribe, catch you later.